Does your uh, garage door do this when you try to open it? Well, I'm going to try to fix it. Let's figure it out. Okay, so with it doing that, that uh, blinking, the number of blinks that it does uh, kind of diagnoses the problem. So I first, you know, I wanted to check. First, you got to make sure that you don't have any obstructions between your sensors there and over there. And they'll have lights on the side of them that indicate when there's an issue right there when you try to do it. If it does, I believe it'll be red or something like that. Uh, but that's the first thing. Make sure you don't have any of that because that's a simple problem. And so long story short, I've diagnosed it back to this, what I believe to be the problem. But we'll see. So um, this RPM sensor kit is what I believe the problem to be uh, for my unit which is a lift master uh can't remember model number half horsepower i don't know but lift master i believe this to be the problem so when you order the kit it comes with the sensor and is the interrupter cup that's what it is you got your sensor, you interrupt the cup. Uh, seems pretty simple. Pry that one off, put a new one on. Pop that one off, put a new one on. Let's, let's get into it. Okay, so on the front, you're looking in front of the front on mine, it has two clips. One up there, that one's broken. And then one over here. Looks like to get it off, you need to slide this clip here that way. Uh, I tried doing it by hand, but I'm gonna have to use a screwdriver, so bear with me here. Two. There we go. All right, that worked. Okay. Now we got access. Alrighty, so pop that off. But I do not see an RPM gauge in there or an RPM sensor in there anywhere. So I'm thinking it may be easier to access it, but I may have to access it from the other side. So I'm gonna pull some more stuff apart and we're gonna go from there. Let's figure it out. All right, so yeah, so I got the top half down, and this part to take this bottom part off. There's two tabs, one over there, and one over there, that were flattened out. So I had to just prime them up, bend them up. This looks like this is aluminum, this shell. So you don't want to bend it too much. So I don't want to have to be going in and out of there, and then I'm a Take that screw off there, and then that screw there, and that should get this thing off. Let's see. And we have success. Let me uh, let me clean all these dead bugs out of here. At least clean that, and then we'll look at the rest of it. All right, so I got that off, and I'm looking around here, and I'm not seeing anything that looks like. Like what I have. Oh, I think that's the, okay. I think that's the sensor. That may be the sensor. Let me get the other one and compare. Let's see. Maybe. Uh, maybe not. Yeah. That looks like, okay, so that's one thing there, okay, found that, now, I don't see the, oh, the cup's right there, right behind it, okay, all right, so 
How the hell do I get that off of there? Huh. So it looks like I gotta remove this thing here in order to access that. But I don't see. Huh. Well, this sucks. All right. Let me figure it out. All right. So after thinking about it, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that off. Um, what I've seen, a, I'm going to see if that's just a problem. I think that's just an electrical issue there. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to pull that off first. I'm going to go from there. Put, and yeah, take that off, put the new one on, uh, and then try it, see if it works before I go trying to pull any of that other stuff off. I don't think that's going to be necessary. So, We'll see if that works. Yeah. How about that? Let's see if that works. Let me try. Push that back in. Okay. All righty. Cool. All right. So what I just did there to make that work is it's got these clips. So I separated the clips. Oh, shit. I separated the clips right here and right there. So I still got this part here in, but I should have enough room to be able to pull this part out now. Now the tough part is going to be getting this one back in. So. I may have to separate it again and put it back in that way, but we'll see. I'm going to try to get it all in in one shot. Now, this should just come on out. Stop being a little bitch. Come on. Come on, clip. All right. All right. One less thing. Well, we can get it all in there. Probably not, but worth a shot. All right. Yeah, no, that ain't gonna work. So I'm gonna take this apart. Separated them like this. Now I'm gonna pop that in and then slide that in there. It should work. All right, that's in. Now I just got to slide the sensor into place, pop it in. Boom. All right. Plug that up. All right. Let's see if that works. Oh, <laughs> need power. Oops. Yes. One thing I neglected to mention is uh, before you start, you got to unplug the power. Before you start. There we go. Some new bulbs. All right. Light off. Okay. But. went and checked out uh, the sensors and noticed that the lights weren't on. So I put the uh, garage door back together and then I guess I had a loose wire or something. So I went and checked the lights again here and they're both on now. So everything should be working. So we're about to check it out here. Looks like everything's good. We have success. <laughs> 